of this movement leader is to obtain theater quality. Just sound, keep the volume, off the project, white dots, flash the picture. Well, I have a wonderful electronic instrument here. Assalamu alaikum everyone, hope you all like the project. Now this project was actually given to us by Dr. Saad Qasim and uh, my, all of my friends said basically that uh, you know so this project was given to us by Dr. Saad Qasim uh, by our university and this is our AI project basically and uh, all of my teammates said that when I was starting this project that uh, why aren't we doing it in 3D. And the reason for that is basically because uh, in the list of the projects that he had, I noticed something that all the projects, they were all in 2D. And so I didn't, uh, we had a deadline to select the uh, particular projects we desired and I didn't select any. So at the end what we did is I went to him personally and I asked him to add a special project in 3D because I said to my teammates that we are not going to do it in 2D. We're going to do it in 3D. So that's how it began and like any other Ross project it was very difficult and uh, it came with its own set of errors and challenges. Yeah so basically what I'm trying to say it uh, took a lot of sleepless nights, hard work and effort and now I hopefully I've got it somewhere uh, to a decent level where it's working properly. Obviously it still needs some work and the technique isn't perfect for the 3D mesh and everything. So hope you like the tutorial and let's jump right into it. So we are going to need a, a Kinect sensor, a ROS PC, and random household objects. You can find anywhere. And some random PC, uh, PC accessories, <laughs> if you want. So going to need something to, to rotate our object on. And of course, the capture pattern. How can we forget that? And now our the uh, capture station is complete. So basically we need uh, something to rotate the object on so I am going to head to the kitchen and let's see what we can find here. Nah. Nah. You try it maybe this will work. And now, uh, that we object, uh, we can find an object, but uh, I'm, not, I'm just not looking in the right places. Trace try it. Now, do see trace try it. Look, that guy is on the tray. We found our tray. Drake, I mean, uh, rotation uh, platform got seen to again. Now we need a uh, an object to uh, actually capture. So uh, now I'm going to quietly go inside here, and I'm gonna grab uh, this. Oh shit! Okay, so now that everything is set up, let's start uh, training our 3D object. 
so the first step to train uh, our 3d object in ORK is to take a sip of tea just kidding okay so the first step is uh, to run raw score so before we do that uh, here we have our database uh, we've already trained uh, two objects uh, seven up and a water bottle yeah no very fancy objects uh, common household common objects you'll see in every house so now we're going to add a shampoo bottle one by sunset by the way not a sponsor even though i wish uh, uh, sunset would be a sponsor anyways let's get back to the our work so fire up terminator or any uh, terminal you prefer in linux and run cross code now what raw score does is basically it will uh, make your computer the master node and all the other uh, peripherals will become the uh, slaves. So basically the master can listen in on its slaves and uh, that way you know the data being published from your uh, peripherals from your slave devices would be published on a topic and the master can subscribe to that topic and he can read all the data. So yeah that's how raw uh, works. And so our now our master node is set up. So now we can uh, run a command and connect our Kinect sensor to our master node using this. Uh, open an I library. And uh, yes, uh, it seems to be working good. So step two uh, is basically now we are going to since our kinect is connected we are going to set set up some parameters for the kinect cross driver uh, if you do not set up these uh, parameters you will have difficulties uh, there will be problems so it's better to do it yeah so let me just this. set up the image underscore mode 2 done now for the cross dynamic underscore controller for the depth underscore mode two. Control C, Control V, done. All right. Once your parameters are set up, you're basically going to publish them with a different name, which is uh, yeah. So basically, you're going to publish them uh, again with depth uh, slash image underscore raw and as RGB underscore slash image underscore off so we can do this and uh, on that spare it up and run this great all right time to capture the 3d image of our object and uh, throw all the data frame by frame into a ROS.wag file so so that's step number f uh, three yes yeah, step number three for us okay so let's uh, so the command to run uh, do that is basically object.capture uh, and uh, here we can go and So now we can go ahead and copy the rest of the command and we're going to be using a sunsil.bag call our uh, ros.bag file sunsil and we we'll capture it. So once when you're capturing it, uh, place your object on the uh, capture pattern and make sure the pattern is being detected. And just move it around so you can get a good uh, 3D capture of your object. Okay, that's done. Good. So the next step is to label our object and then you can throw it onto the database. So to label the object, here is the command. And uh, our object is not Tropicana, it is a shampoo, so let's call it. And uh, yeah, so it's something. The object name is something basically. Sun, so, okay. 
right so now what it's going to do is basically it is going to insert the object data frame by frame into the object sunset.back file 19 24 frame so basically once uh, the data has been uploaded to the ROST, uh, the sunset.back file, we can, uh, it, it will be assigned an ID uh, as you can see here, the last three digits are 754 and with this ID we can identify it on the database as well. Also uh, next step would be to construct a mesh. So step number five, capture uh, the data and uh, convert it into a mesh. 3D mesh of the object. So the command to do that is basically uh, reconstruction is to match into the object provided by the object recognition library. We can go here and we can place paste it. And before I go for any further, I will actually that do not try to visualize it. My boss or I don't know why, but it gives you a segmentation error. So if any of you know what the problem is, what the problem I'm facing is, do let me know in the comments. But for now, I'm going to just move visualize and we'll just come here. And it should start trading. This might take a while. A few moments later. And it's starting to train it. A few minutes later. So looks like our mesh is ready and so let's view our mesh on online and let's see what we have here. So this is our object and this is the mesh. Gotta say, not the prettiest mesh out there but uh, it will do the job. And obviously this mesh could be improved with a better uh, depth sensor but we'll may have to make do with what we have right now. Alright, cool. And uh, the ID that was given to our object here was 754 so let's verify that as well and uh, reload this database there we go we have a sun silk here and uh, let's, let's check it out okay so you will not see the ID here uh, right away because we haven't trained it this part of the database this shows uh, the object will so show you whether or not you have trained the object. Once you train it, it will show up with the ID here. Mm, right. So let's uh, do exactly that. Let's train this model and next step will be step number six, train model in the database. And the command for that is ROS run object recognition underscore core training, blah, blah, blah. All right, so here is where you can change your algorithm. If you want to use, for example, Todd, you can write Todd. You can do tabletop. You can write tabletop, tabletop as such. But I will be using line mod, so let's just keep it at line mod. All right. So let's enter this, and again, this is going to take a while, a lot longer than creating the mesh. So. So now that our object has been trained, we can visualize it in our base. And uh, let's do that. So before doing that, we need to run a command so we can start uh, run, uh, running our trained model. So that command would be was run underscore underscore uh, underscore 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 detection and uh, whatever algorithm we have. Let's go here and you know, spread it and it's based. So again here whatever algorithm you, you want to use you can use it uh, assuming that you have trained it in that algorithm obviously uh, so we trained it in line mode so we're going to use line mode and it gives me error no problem just source it again So uh, it's going 
to upload the data and everything subscribe to all the topics and load all the meshes that we have trained have a match so let's visualize this in harvest and see how so we can have a better view of what is happening harvest cross on harvest harvest and here we go so let's see what we have here set up the fixed frame to camera underscore rgb underscore frame and we will need to add a few objects here the first object would be oh, or architect uh, object that's the architect finesse nice object topic that, that we'll be subscribing to here and we can add a uh, point cloud 2 here and in the point cloud 2 set it up to topic uh, depth underscore register points and here we can set it up to uh, recognize object underscore if you're not getting this topic in your ORK object uh, uh, topic uh, then there's this is the problem you did something wrong so you have you might have to go and do it again and here we can see successfully we have managed to train a model and as you can see the feed you know what let's open up uh, another object here camera so you can have a better view of the rgb camera as well let's see what we have here in the topics camera let's find some uh, decent image underscore color there we go so camera feed along with the cross object uh, yes so it's basically recognizing uh, the sun silk you know what it's better if you do it like this and uh, get this out of the way let's place it there and As you can see, uh, it's not uh, successfully recognizing it. Probably due to the let's try changing the frame up a bit. And, uh, maybe we can get a better angle. Yeah, so it is recognizing it, but uh, the position is off. So maybe uh, it's probably because our object hasn't been trained. Yeah, so now it's recognizing the position properly as well. The idea is basically the better your mesh is, the better you can uh, recognize these objects. Mm, yeah, so this angle is perfect as you can see. It is perfectly recognizing the object, the position, and this is going to showing a 92% confidence. Yeah. So there you go. That's how you uh, train an object in uh, ORK. Now you can also uh, place multiple objects here. Uh, let me get to my other objects. Okay, let's, I got a bottle and a seven up can and let's hope you can recognize all three. So it's definitely getting the seven up can in here. Uh, yes, seven up is coming. But the bottle, uh, it's a transparent object. So this is going to be a bit of a challenge getting it on the depth sensor, but let's hope we can capture yeah we got the water ball okay. so that's it for this video uh hope you like the video and that's pretty much how you train objects in 3d in uh, ORK and ROS and uh, if you like to see more content like this be sure to like share subscribe and comment down below let me know what you think and uh, I'll see you in another video Allah Hafiz.